In this video, we're going to learn how to record an assignment using GarageBand. First, you want to open GarageBand and start a new project. You can name the session whatever you like. Since we'll be playing along to a backing track, you do not need to worry about the tempo or key settings. A new project will typically open with a default piano track. If you are using a guitar or microphone, you will first want to delete this track by going to Track, Delete Track, and then creating your own within the same menu. If you would like to use GarageBand's built-in effects and are recording with a guitar, select Guitar Track. If you are using a microphone or have some external guitar effects that you would like to add, select Real Instrument instead, then Create. To set up your recording signal, click on GarageBand, Preferences, and go to the Audio MIDI tab. If you are listening through your built-in speakers, select Built-in Output. If you are using an interface and are routing the sound through that, select the interface. For the input device, you will have a few options. Select Built-in Microphone if you are using the computer's built-in microphone, built-in input if you are plugging your guitar directly into the computer, or an audio interface if you have one connected. For this recording, I will be using my USB microphone. Hit the red X to close out of preferences. Notice the red circle on my track here. This is the Record Enable button that tells GarageBand which track you want to record to. Once this is enabled, I can test my recording level. Notice that I am getting a good signal coming into the track as indicated by this green meter. You can adjust the amount of input by using this slider here. Turn monitor on if you would like to hear your recording signal play back through your speakers or headphones. You can also add presets for your track such as built-in vocal sounds here. You can further edit the sounds by accessing GarageBand's internal plugins here as well as any external plugins you may have on your computer. For this recording, we'll simply keep the track at no effects. Since we'll be playing to a backing track, we do not need the metronome for this recording. To turn it off, go to Control and deselect the metronome. To download your backing track, go to your assignment page and hold down the Control button while clicking the link. In Safari, select Download Linked File As. If you are using Firefox, this will be worded Save Link As instead. You can leave the name of the MP3 at the default setting, and saving to your desktop will make it easiest to find. Once the download is complete, you can import the MP3 by simply dragging it into the Open GarageBand window. Notice that the new track is now Record Enabled instead. We want to deselect this and Record Enable the track we will be recording to. Once you are ready, Click on the record button at the bottom of the GarageBand window to start a recording. Spacebar will stop a recording. If you are unhappy with the take, you can erase this by either hitting the keyboard shortcut Command-Z or by going to Edit, Undo Recording. Hitting Return on your keyboard will automatically snap the cursor back to the beginning of the timeline so we can re-record. Once you are happy with your recording, you will want to export as an MP3 by going to the Share menu. Older versions of GarageBand will only have the Send Song to iTunes option. With this, you can export the song to iTunes and convert it to an MP3 within there. If you are using a newer version of GarageBand, you can simply select Export Song to Disk. Make sure the compress box is checked and the MP3 encoder is selected so the exported file is automatically created as an MP3. Typically, your instructor will prefer the MP3 to be named your first initial, last name, and assignment number. Again, saving to the desktop will be the easiest place to locate the file. GarageBand will then create a mixdown of the two tracks into one MP3. My MP3 has now been created in the location that I specified. To upload your MP3 to your course, 
Return to the assignment page and click on the Post button. Here you will have a Subject, Attachment, and Message field. Add your subject and click on Choose File or Browse, depending on your browser. If I go to Desktop, my MP3 will be located in the list. Select this and click Choose or Open. The MP3 will now be attached to the post. You can add multiple attachments to a post if you need to. Add a message to your instructor, then click the Post button. Your assignment will now be submitted. Your instructor and classmates can then stream the song from the website or download it to their own computer. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact service at berkeleymusic.com or call 617-747-2146, extension 3.